In this video, we'll be looking at the shot generator, which lets us create our shot much quicker, set up our scene quicker with some pre-drawn three-dimensional objects and characters, uh, and lets us have much more control over the camera and the framing of our shot. It's really cool. So suppose we, well, let's just left click on it to start. So we left click and it opens up a whole separate window over top of, of, our, of our original storyboard. And then what it lets us do, we ha see these kind of squares on the bottom, we see the sky. If you just left click and hold, you can move around and look. It's almost like a 3D game. You're looking around it and you see the ground. If you left click and hold and move up, you look up at the sky. If you scroll in and out with your mouse, you kind of zoom in and zoom out. And look what's happening with the camera over here. If we left click and move to the right, it moves to the right. So we're really controlling the camera right now. It tells us this is camera one. It tells us it's three at three feet, three inches high is where the camera's at. And right now it's the field of view is 53 millimeters. We can zoom out and get a wider field of view there, or we can zoom in closer. So it kind of tells our cameraman how to set up this shot. We can make changes to the camera by just clicking on it. And then we scroll wheel with our mouse down and we can see where's it at X and Y. We can move it over to a different location. It doesn't really change much now. This Z is the height of it, so we can look, we can go up really high and look down, and now it's like at 14 feet, one inches is where the camera is, and it's looking, and we can pan around. Anyway, there's nothing really in here yet. Let's go back down to sort of closer to ground level, and we can create something. We can create an object. If we just click object, we see a box appears, and then we can left click and move that box around. And the box uh, now has some options too, just like camera. We can left click on camera to again, move the camera around relative to the box, or we can left click on the box, this object one, and we can move it around in this 3D space. So the X axis, if you're not familiar with working in 3D space, is like left and right as we're, as we're viewing now. White is gonna be how far away it is or how close it is. When I say white, I meant Y. And Z is going to be, the Z axis is the vertical axis. So it's how, where it's at up and down wise. So when we click and hold, we can only move it on the X axis. Oh, I guess it's changing Y a little bit, it looks like. Um, but to, to do, to get more fine tuning, you can change these X, Y, Z coordinates. And again, to move the camera around, just left click in here. Or we can click on camera and move the camera around on the X, Y, Z coordinates as well. Camera also has some more advanced things like tilt, the way it's tilted and the roll of the camera so we can rotate the camera around and really make get a kind of an interesting um, view. Let's put our roll back to zero and then the rotation we can all, we, we change with this too. We can toggle these views as well. If we want to switch and be looking at the top down view instead, we click this icon here and it switches. So now we're looking at kind of the bird's eye view of our scene and then this is showing what, our, what the camera sees. We can toggle that by clicking this icon here. Um, Let's get another, oh, this object has more settings besides just where it's located though. We can scroll down and we see we can turn this object into something else like a bed. So we have a bed here, let's put it back down on the ground. So we've got a bed and we can rotate that around on different axes, different axes. We can turn it into like a chair. There's different pre-built in models that are, that are kind of nice. And so what we're gonna do is set up a scene. Maybe we have a chair over here as part of our scene and then we want another object so we click object we get the second object and we want to make that maybe like a bookshelf and so we grab this bookshelf and then we find you know we move it back on the y-axis so we kind of set up a little scene here we can click another object and we can very quickly um, have a scene here where someone is walking in the doors we can grab these doors here and maybe rotate them around a little bit Oop, gotta get the right axis Whoa, not that one so we get these doors over here, we move them over, and then we have we can get a character even. So we click this character, and now we have a character up here. And we can just left click and move this character around. They're gonna work the same way with these X, Y, Z coordinates. We can move them, and we can so have them kind of walking in the door, and we can kind of figure out how we want this scene to look. Let's turn that person around a little bit. Whoa. And so now we kind of have a scene here. We can even get multiple cameras, but we'll maybe do that in a, in a future tutorial. But we can move this camera around. We can even click it over here in this bird's eye view and move this camera around and get it exactly where we want this camera to be. And then we can say, yeah, this is the framing we want for, for this scene. 
And so when we get this exactly how we want it, then we click Save to Board. So we click the Save to Board, and now if we close this, this is our board, this is our first board. And so we can do the same things as if we had hand drawn all of this. We can um, come over here and we can say, this scene is going to be 20,000 milliseconds, which is about 20 seconds. So this scene will be 20 seconds long, and what's gonna happen, this is the dialogue, this is what the person's saying this whole time, this, these are the actions that they're doing, you know, walking in the room or whatever they're gonna be doing. Uh, we can put notes for this scene, like make sure to have so-and-so, whatever. So we can do all kinds of stuff, just like we did, we've done in, in the hand-drawn ones, but we have a much better scene here, um, a much more informative kind of. Um, and we can draw in here, we can say, have the camera, kind of pan in like this and we can grab and say this guy is going to kind of like we can draw you know some more different things about what this person's doing or uh, we can circle different things and give notes kind of more detail about what's happening here and then for the next scene we can do, we can just grab this uh, well we could go back into this we can click this and we can move something around so we can say let's have the character move over here and then go insert as new board and now when we go back, we have a second board. We have this first one, then we also have this one right here. And so this is the, the second board. And we can click on this one again, and we can move him around some more. And these characters, we're gonna learn more in the next video about moving these 3D characters because they're actually pretty, pretty cool. You can do all kinds of stuff and really, they have this, uh, what's this like, kinematics where you can actually um, move a part of their body and then everything else kind of moves according. And so you can really pose them and really get some pretty good poses in here. And they have preset poses as well. The characters do just like the uh, uh, the furniture, the objects. We can turn in different furniture. We can turn these characters into different things as well. And so very, very cool stuff. Anyway, uh, go ahead and play with that a little bit. In the next video, let's, we're going to learn about posing a little bit more and working with the characters. Uh, but hopefully you found this informative. This is a really, really powerful tool. There's a lot more than meets the eye with this. And so play with this. And uh, I think you're going to have a lot of fun. But thanks for watching. Go ahead and leave your questions and comments below. And we'll catch you in the next video.